All right, Scott, on Flow Track, rarely do we talk about a 100 mile race. 24 hour race will be over 100 miles. Talk about where you're heading in December, the dynamics of this race, the history of it. Run us through. Okay, so believe it or not, I'm headed to a 24 hour track race, which means I'll be running around a 400 meter track for 24 hours. It's uh, the Su Chow Invitational. Some of the best runners in the world right now at 24 hours will be there. Um, really looking forward to it. It's my first track race. Uh, I've run 100 mile races, obviously, a lot of trail stuff. Have uh, set the American record on the road for 24 hours, but no track race. So it's um, it's got a really rich history, and I think I enjoy the trails, and that's where my heart is. But there's something about seeing you know how I stack up against the best in the world since the beginning records were kept, and man has always want, wanted to know like how far can we go in one day? How many guys in the race? Uh, tell it. Tell us about the race. Set the scene for what, what you're going to be facing. Yeah, you know, the race, it's interesting. With 24-hour races, there's going to be a degradation. In fact, a lot of ultra marathons, you know, it's really hard to run even splits. So for me, I'll try to get into a rhythm. Uh, there'll be 10 of the top guys in the world racing, and you want to use that competition to, to fuel uh, motivation. For me... I'll probably try to settle into a pace of oh, seven minute pace, maybe a little faster just to get the legs kind of like stretched out. Um, overall, really want to get down to um, eight minute pace. The world record on the track, believe it or not, is 188 miles. That's uh, 739 pace for 24 hours. So um, we'll see how things go, but I'd like to get somewhere around 175 to 180, and if things go well, in terms of like weather and such, maybe better. One question is, talk about the intensity, because I think that a lot of our audience knows the intensity of 200 to go in a mile race, we understand yeah. that intensity, or two miles to go in a 10K. Speak to the intensity of a 24-hour race. Wow, yeah, the, the intensity for a 24-hour race is, it's like on a whole nother level. I don't want to like, belittle the marathon or any other event, but it's... You've got to go places that your mind, your body, and you're just on a whole different plane in terms of consciousness because there have been times where I just I don't even feel my legs and then other times they're screaming and it's really about like going past what the body's feeling, what the mind is telling you, and just try to find that strength somewhere and tap into that. And that's, that's what it's about. Like the intensity... It's just a different intensity. It's like I try to describe it too. It's like a slow, it's like a slow, constant ache that never goes away. <laughs> it's just always there. So maybe talk about your mileage. You mentioned earlier you're running 80, 90 miles a week. Personally, I was blown away with two months to go to a 24-hour race. Why the low mileage? And talk about your buildup. Yeah, for these races, a lot of people assume, oh, you must be cranking out 200 mile weeks, you know, in order. A lot, a lot of top marathoners are running, you know, 120 to 140. Uh, for ultra marathons, I really don't go over like that 120 to 140 range. Um, I'll still run on the trails just to mix it up right now. Um, I won't be doing like a 10 hour training run on a track to get ready for it. Uh, it's really about, I've been doing it for a while, so I feel like if I can get in good, you know, road shape and feel confident in terms of running, you know, in terms of like a marathon type of pace and just knowing I'm, I'm fit, doing some track work, doing some speed work, tempo runs, much like a marathon, and then putting in the long days, um, so seven, eight hour runs, and a couple of, you know, back to back six hour runs. But it's not as crazy as what a lot of people think. It's, it's really about having that experience, training the stomach, and then just being mentally tough. You just gotta throw down when it counts.